In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can control third-party VST parameters using Ableton, as well as the two easiest ways to control them in a live situation. Brett Pontecorvo here at LiveKeyboardist.com, where I help keyboard players just like you with sound design, with the ins and outs of Ableton Live, and with building a live keyboard rig. If you're new here, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. So Ableton makes it fairly easy to do this. Right now what I've got loaded in is a uh, preset that I built in Pigments. Sounds like this. And this is just a really simple sound with a self uh, oscillating filter. But I wanna be able to control some of these parameters like the filter cutoff, the volume of the self oscillating filter, as well as the amount of drive. So Ableton allows you to do this pretty quickly. You can pop open the side here and your first step will be to click configure. And then all you need to do is select the parameters you wanna control. So in my case, I'll hit drive and you'll notice it pops up here on the left. You can head back over to my synth and choose cutoff. And then I will pop over here to filter two and choose volume. Then I can hit configure. And now you'll notice as I move these parameters, you can see it auto updating inside of Ableton Live. So the two easiest ways to control these parameters are either to map it or to put a clip in. So you can quickly map these parameters by entering MIDI mapping mode and assigning them to knobs on your controller. But pro tip, you're gonna want to set your minimum and maximum values. Otherwise, you run the risk of really over controlling them. So uh, for your uh, filter one cutoff, um, you probably don't want it to go all the way down or all the way up. Uh, for your filter two volume, you definitely don't want it to be all the way. Um, and for, let's see here, for your overdrive as well, you don't want it to be uh, too extreme. So you can exit MIDI mapping mode and now you have control. over all of these parameters. Now the other easy way to do this is to click on whatever you wanna control, double click and create a clip and you can simply uh, write it into automation this way. It's a very fast uh, method to do it and you can toggle back using the shift tab situation. Now if you wanna know more about MIDI mapping, you can check out my detailed video right here. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about pigments, here are five of my favorite pigments presets. If you found this video helpful, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button and I will see you next time on LiveKeyboardist.com.